Stock Pulse News Debrief in the mining sector. We've got Timberline Resources. Timberline trades in the Venture Exchange under the symbol TBR. Over the counter in the U.S. and the OTCQB under the symbol TLRS. And we've got with me now the President and CEO, Steve Osterberg. Hey, Steve, appreciate the time here. Looks like you got some uh, drill results here from Elder Creek. Why don't you go ahead and lay it out for us? Yeah, we've uh, announced this morning... Um, uh, assay results from a drill hole on a porphyry copper uh, molly gold silver deposit or, or project that we've we've um, uh, begun exploring on since uh, this past field season. This is a property that we acquired from America's Gold Exploration back uh, in uh, closed the deal in late August. Um, we've done a fair bit of surface work on it with excellent indications that it is a very large footprint uh, porphyry copper system. And uh, sitting right there in the middle in uh, in the Battle Mountain district, which is very well endowed for copper as well as gold, and uh, the first core hole, uh, which we've just completed and just received initial assay results on, has returned a large section of about 650 feet of very anomalous copper and uh, molybdenum, and within that section running about 45 feet of 1.2 percent copper and 0.31 percent. Molly as MO, um, also with uh, uh, 0.126 grams gold and 25 and a half grams silver. Um, so we see it very much as a, uh, a polymetallic system. We lots of evidence for multiple stages of brecciation and mineralization, as well as alteration and intrusive phases. So very excited about the potential of this thing going forward. Uh, and follow up, we actually have I, an IP crew on the property right now. And they've initiated work uh, to fingerprint what this mineralization looks like in terms of um, geophysical signatures, and and we'll be following up on that through the next couple of weeks. So we're excited to move it forward. And Steve, uh, for those not familiar with the story, why don't you give us an update on the other projects you've got going there? Sure, yeah, happy to. Uh, our other big project, of course, is the uh, Eureka project, which sits at the south end of the Battle Mountain Eureka trend, whereas Elder Creek is more or less towards the north end. Um, but Eureka is a property that we've held for a long time. It's got about 650,000 ounces of of uh, resource on it, um, measured, indicated, and inferred. And uh, <clears throat> But we, in the course of our field work this past summer, have really, I think, uh, honed down and uh, made a big step forward in understanding the system and, and recognizing that there is a high-grade uh, component to it that um, is queued up now to be, uh, to be drill tested. We see all classic indicators of large uh, uh, Carlin-type systems, um, uh, collapse breccias, carbonaceous uh, uh, breccias as well as uh, arsenic sulfides and multiple stages again that are recognized and then part of that system what's so alluring about it is there's a very large interesting magnetic feature where we can see key structures in it uh, we now have completed a, a gravity survey over it which fits the story quite nicely and then our geological work uh, has also uh, uncovered some historic data that we've gone into the field and vetted where there's a road cut um, that was sampled back in 1989 or 1990. Uh, that was sampled along a, a structure that's exposed in the road cut can assayed about 361 feet running 0.369 ounces per ton in historic assays. And then we came in and, and verified that with a number of grab samples. So it appears to be a potentially a very large system with some very high-grade elephant hairs that are coming off of it. And uh, so very excited to get back on that. We've also done some work down at Eureka on our windfall project. Um, now we, we feel we now have a good recognition of the controls on the gold mineralization in the historic windfall pit, which was uh, the very first standalone heap leach operation in, in the state of Nevada. And that was an operation back in the early to mid 70s when gold, of course, was was uh, you know sub $100 an ounce. And so we recognize the alteration and the structural controls to that mineralization, and we feel very strongly that we've got a great opportunity for some low hanging fruit to be uh, to be recognized and drilled there. So that's ready to drill. And then we've also got again back up on the north end of 
of the Battle Mountain Trend, we've got a second uh, porphyry copper gold target that is literally contiguous with uh, the Elder Creek one. Um, and that's got historic uh, uh, mineralization on it, um, running uh, about one and a half grams gold over about six meters at the bottom of a hole, a drill hole that um, has visible copper mineralization in it, copper sulfides, but never assayed for copper. And uh, so very interested on that. That is completely drill ready. It's fully permitted. And uh, so we've got a number of very interesting opportunities before us. And now what's game plan here year end Q1? We just raised a, a first tranche of capital, uh, closed on it about two to three weeks ago. And we've got a, got a second tranche that we're filling right now. And uh, we'll be using that uh, capital to uh, help us finish out the year here. We'll finish that IP survey on Elder Creek and um, be working on, on follow-up drill targets there, which we expect to be uh, pursuing uh, early in the year. Um, very likely we'll be looking for another, uh, another capital raise as well and uh, following up on what we consider to be really a, a discovery um, or validation that we do have a, 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 a porphyry copper system here that, that um, um, sits in a great location in the Battle Mountain District. So that'll be our focus early in the year, and also we'll be looking at uh, you know, in doing some initial drilling on these high-grade targets, follow-up targets at, um, at Eureka. Okay, Steve Osterberg, President and CEO, Timberline Resources, TBR on the Venture, TLRS, OTCQB in the States. I appreciate the update, Steve, and I'll look forward to checking back with you here year-end. Thank you. Appreciate it very much.